back, ladies and gentlemen. So much is happening in our time apart. Can't wait to share it with you all in due time. Did you miss me? I know I missed you. <laughs> That's from a J. Cole song, but I like that. Don't y'all? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Dre over here at Set Apart Gardens, where we are leading the movement to get black people back to the land and on the road to self-sufficiency. So if you enjoy the content, you like the content, you want to join the movement, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll go on this journey together. Peace and blessings. So, when it comes to growing vegetables, growing fruit trees, growing your food, you need healthy soil, which means you have to till it first and then fertilize it. Fertilizers, they, you can get all kind of things to fertilize your soil. Manure, compost, etc. And as far as tilling your soil, you can use a tractor, you can use a manual tiller, gas tiller, electric tiller. But the best tiller and the best fertilizer that I found personally that has made my vegetables just grow and thrive and have made my grass greener is chickens. Chickens will till your land and they'll fertilize the soil at the same time. And it's so natural and organic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you why and how. I'm, I'm gonna show you what I've done on my land and how it has uh, benefited my plants and my soil health. Now, quick story. The reason why I found this system of chickens tilling and fertilizing the land to be so good, uh, it was actually by accident. I used to own laying hens back when I lived in Virginia and I had laying hens and so in the chicken coop, um, I would move the chicken coop. And when I moved the chicken coop, I would see how they had tilled it and then after I moved them from that specific area, I would see how much greener the grass would grow. I would also throw like um, barley seeds and oat seeds and things like that down to feed to them and to, so they could scratch and all that type of stuff. And when I tell you those uh, barley seeds and those seeds that I threw down, they, they sprouted so quickly and so green. And that's how I knew that chickens were natural tillers. It was, it was an accident. But at the same time, I'm glad I, I found that. So um, when I got laying hens and um, meat chickens, when I got to my new property, I put them in portable chicken coops where I would move it periodically. And once I moved it, it'll be tilled and then the grass would just come back so much greener. And that soil would improve so much. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now I know this is a smaller area. That's because I didn't have that many chickens on this uh, specific area right here. So when I did, I, I left them on a little bit longer than I should have, but you can see what they did, they've done. I'm sorry. Look how much greener this is right here. Look how much greener this is. I also put my orange tree right here and look how it's just thriving. This was, when I put it right here, it was a baby, but look how, and, and I have to uh, prune it so don't judge me but look look at how this has benefited from all the manure that has been placed over here look how much greener this is Now this right here is another area that I had my meat chickens. In this little chicken coop right here, I had my meat chickens and I would just move it periodically, like every week or so. And you see how they've tilled this and fertilized this. Now the grass is starting to grow back right here, but because I've butchered them since, but you see this? And not to mention all of this back here, my laying hens, I put them in this chicken coop after I got the meat chickens out they've been tilling it even more. So I could plant anything I wanted right here, but I'm just gonna leave it be. This is what chickens do. This is a sustainable system. It's a system that you just let nature do its thing and that's the best thing about it, I believe. Because when you let nature do its thing, 
everything is so much more organic. Everything is so much more better. This is gonna be my 2022 garden. So, my plan is to get another chicken coop out here. That's a little portable coop right there. I could put about three chickens in. I'm gonna get another one out here and I'm going to move them daily or week or every uh, three days. Let them till it, move it, cover the ground with some covering, some black covering sheets that I got. I'm gonna cover the ground and then when it's time to actually plant and uh, dig it up a little more, that's what I'm gonna uh, do everything at. But just stay tuned for the updates on the 2022 garden because it's gonna be coming quick. I'm gonna be posting videos every week about my progress and what I'm doing with it. Um, but this is gonna be my area and I plan on letting the chickens till most of it. Now I'm still gonna have to come back through with my uh, electric tiller, but the plan is to get the chickens to till most of it and fertilize it. So that way that soil is ready. All right, so if you made it to the end of the video, first and foremost, Thank you for watching to the end. I appreciate it. I hope you benefited from it. If you enjoyed the content, hit that like and subscribe button. Join this movement of getting black to the land, getting black people back to the land, and getting on this road to self-sufficiency. We all in this journey together, but it's important that we do it. All right? So with that being said, be safe, be blessed, and be easy. Always be at odds And I left all that money in the streets Knowing that it's